Unreal Engine's experimental animation framework is the next evolution and CD Projekt Red showcased it in the Witcher 4 technical demo at Unreal Fest Orlando 2025. The system is designed to eventually replace animation blueprints entirely. In this video, I'm going to show you the implementation in three easy steps. Since Unreal Engine 4, animation blueprints have been the backbone of character animation. Without them, your characters are just lifeless meshes sliding through 3D space. Over the years, they've evolved with state machine enhancements, blend spaces, control rig and layered animations introduced in Unreal Engine 5. But here's the thing. Epic isn't just iterating anymore. They're building something new from the ground up. Unreal Animation Framework or UAF is a modular workflow with a modern architecture and delivering multi-threaded performance. The Witcher 4 demo gave us a glimpse of what AAA studios are already doing with this. This framework is still experimental and documentation is sparse. You need five specific plugins enabled. At the time of recording, this is done in Unreal Engine 5.7. Check all five, restart the Unreal Editor, and you're ready to rock. Epic built a wizard that sets everything up for you. Create a new folder in your content browser. Navigate to Animation Animation Framework and select UIF Asset Wizard. You will see an empty list with a Create button at the bottom. Click Create and select your new folder as the destination. You'll need to provide a skeletal mesh. Hit Create Assets and the wizard generates everything you need. Let's talk about what these actually do. The workspace is your command center. Opening the animation graph or system will automatically open the workspace. Think of it like the hub where everything connects. The system file is like the event graph in traditional animation blueprints. You'll see two events already set up, namely initialize and brief physics. There are also some variables configured and ready to use. The animation graph is where your animation logic lives. This is where you'll find the animation output node that drives your final animation. If this looks overwhelming, don't worry. Once you understand the flow, it's actually cleaner than animation blueprints. Before we continue, hit the like button if you find this valuable and share your thoughts in the comments below. The default character blueprint the wizard creates is bare bones. No capsule and no movement components. You'll need to add those yourself. Let's take a look at an NPC implementation using the mover component with UIF. The NPC character blueprint has the mover component implemented. Additionally, the animation framework component was added with the system set to the one created by the UIF wizard. On the skeletal mesh, you do not have an animation blueprint selected and the enable animation is not ticked. This is the opposite of what you're used to. UIF handles animations differently as it doesn't use the traditional animation blueprint slot. Open your system file. You'll need to add a generate trajectory from mover node. This reads the current movement data from your movement component and stores it in a variable. This trajectory data is crucial as it tells the animation system where your character is going and how fast. 
Now open your animation graph. Add an Evaluate Chooser node. The chooser selects the applicable poses databases based on your character's current state and outputs them to the next step. Connect this to the motion matching node, which takes the poses databases from the chooser, analyzes your animation library, and seamlessly blends between animations based on the trajectory data. Finally, connect the motion matching output to your animation output node, and you're done. Should you still need to set up the mover component, watch this video next to get the four easy steps, and I'll see you there.